Hello there, my name is Brizzy. And I'm Side. And we are Side Quest, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Finally. It's been a hot minute. Uh, it's been so long. See, what happens is sometimes when you're cleaning up your computer, you accidentally delete your save file, and you have to replay the whole thing up until that point again. Sometimes that happens. Every once in a while. Yeah. But you know what? But you know what? What? I got eggnog. Gross. No, I said gross, not delicious. I know. Mm. I'm glad you agree. No, it's gross. Mm. Oh, here's... Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Samesh Bhatia. Oh. I'm happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I like that's garbage. That's garbage. <laughs> Why There's a guy at my request? work that says that all the time. Some, that's garbage. I don't know. All I know it is that they have declared garbage. it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll put this right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. How much respect does she deserve? Like, like this much? I, we don't have a face cam. I know, but I'm telling you. Okay. Just so you know, Simon did a tiny little, like, pinch with his fingers. Oh, don't make me sound like an asshole. Yeah, well, you're the one who pinched it. Codex. Keeper. Keeper, keeper, keeper. We scanned you with our clay. You must be delighted. Welcome. It is good to it's meet me. you. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Yeah. You landed a job doing nothing. You're just looking at not her even, orange screen. She's not even. She's looking this way. She's, she's looking at her screen, but she's riding side saddle. Like oh, she just even... fixed her wedgie. Now she's kind of looking at her screen. But before, she was looking over here at this screen, which is just a whole lot of nothing. Maybe it's also an important screen. You don't know very much about screens. I know a little about screens. How much do you know? Like, like if you had to give me a percentage of, like, how much you know about screens, what would you probably say that your screen percentage is? I can't tell you in percents. I can tell you in pinches. Mine's 78. Like seven Mine's 78 percent. I didn't expect to see you here. I know 78% about screens, Dina sent you. Yeah. and you know seven pinches. <clears throat> Who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Powell, head really of CSEC. Yes, he does. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? <laughs> you scare us over there, just kind of like, oh, come on. <laughs> I get the face. feeling you're not too mm -hmm. fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the yeah. power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like We it. want treats. I wouldn't say we're not favorite. The Council favorite. treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let I you take it. I wonder if he darkens I'm his eyes. busy man, like Commander. <clears throat> are we done here? Want anything else? Um, yeah, attitude for humans. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just oh, don't that's the trust same thing. your kind. Right, you not yet. Basic. You humans are... The council wants to make uh, humanity their new favorite how about pet. C that's their business. But I don't have to like it. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the seasick representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. I like how he can't even, like, stand up to talk to us. No. Nope. He's just like, you're not even fucking important He's enough. still looking through his thing. Uh, tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. His little, um, mandibles come out so far compared to, like, Garrus. Yeah? Well, Garrus's don't come out that far when he talks, but this guy's, like, splays pretty wide. Hmm. Does yeah. his jaw look wide? <clears throat> uh, yeah, investigate the uh, specters. What do you know about the specters? 
They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. Well, not right there, but... More like the underhanded side of the council. You don't like them? What do you have against the specters? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. That's a bit naive. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law years. to do my job, not once. Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. <laughs> what? I've known plenty of <laughs> heard that. No, is that another <laughs> phrase? I have heard that. Don't piss in my ear and say it's raining. Bad. I've heard that more we from like, blind eye to corruption like old cowboy do. men. What's this supposed to even to mean? Find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Like, is it like you're you're like you're doing something and then you're pretending it's just not you like, or like lying or claiming otherwise? <clears throat> okay. All right. And does he have a mouse in his pocket too? I was gonna say you can't blame this one on me. I didn't say it. Yeah. Specters are important. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. The dirty I agree. Jobs. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Yeah. Saren's out of control. We both His face that. markings look kind of like a butterfly. Because he's a specter, the council doesn't want to do anything This is about a Rorschach it. test every time you come across a turn. Is that the kind of person yes. this galaxy needs? <laughs> Except for Garrus. He's only got, like, two stripes. He's too lazy for that shit. Yeah, you can pick your answer for this one. Uh... It's hard. Well, I see both sides. Then let's go with... No. But not all specters are like Saren. Not all specters. True. But the potential is always Hashtag there. not all specters. All right, that's it. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Got 12 codex out of that one. I'm not snooping. You're snooping. You didn't want to bother with that one? I did not. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive the transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together, we must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Mages unite. <clears throat> Battle against the circle. <clears throat> I get the feeling they're not used to seeing I'm so close to him. <laughs> what were you saying, Rex? He's like one inch from your face. She's like, I'm sorry. I could use a snack. Think there's any fish out in that lake? Like, we're just about kissing. Yeah. Where did Garrus go? Oh, he decided to teleport behind me. It never gets dark. They keep the Stop running for me. <laughs> the ambassadors have yeah. this beautiful park to relax in. Most of them are too busy to ever do that. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Yep. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic weird court. Mouth. Is there something I can do to assist you? that haircut. Well, more like the texture to that haircut. I'm like, oh, stop stealing corpses. Can we go that way? extreme. I would just say I'm here for some mesh. <laughs> yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. <clears throat> ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish There's I could just help something him. super weird about his mouth. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia like died on Eden Prime, too. as Mr. Mm -hmm. Bhatia no little, doubt told you. Like weirdly her droopy? wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. She's toxic? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nerali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How about, we'll go, we should probably go up. <clears throat> Paladin with this one. <coughs> I understand what you're Excuse trying me. to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should you understand people. how far we must go to protect humanity. Uh, I do when you're wrong. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. 
Oh, just cuss. Right, You're Commander. in the military. You win. <laughs> Correct. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Smart choice. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Shipped back to Earth. Look at that. We got eight Paragon from that. We are the best dwarf god of all time. I don't think she lets you talk to her yet. I don't have time to talk yep. now. I'm very busy. I'm very busy. However... Keeper, 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 we scanned you with our clay. I don't know in my replaying if I got all the keepers that we had before. So it's probably if whenever we see a keeper, but I need to double check it. <clears throat> I was trying to replay as quickly as I could. Oh, this is where I needed to go. No, perfect. Hey, buddy. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? She's coming I home. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Bye. So also, I heard you're single now. You looking for another, you know, nice new military wife? Seem like the type that might have some money. Do you have money? I don't know if he has money. Yeah, I may not be that interested then. So we still gotta go to back to uh, Cora's den. To uh, um, get this keeper. No, okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> Bless you. Bless me. There was two bees back there and one you. I don't wanna be a bull. Where you go? Oh, where did we get this? You must have gotten that. I think that's a codex. Mm. <clears throat> Here we go. Welcome to the Shut up, Avina. Allow me to be your guide. Shoosh. Speedy Travs. Kara is dead. Kara. It speaks. Oh, Mom. It's just me dead. Here we go. Going to speak to Septimus. It's a dumb name. It is a dumb name. <laughs> Rex. He's just like. <laughs> I still love that one, like. Sassily laughing girl. That's <laughs> louder than everybody else. Oh, 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 what do you want? Oh, oh. I want to tell you you look funny in your hood. Should we do problems or Shiara? Oh, no, Shiara. Or Shaira. Shaira. Shiara. Your lies are hurting Except her. my sister. Good. Except her how you say her name is you're drunk. Shiara. His hood looks so weird. It does. There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Rex, I mean, Rex Garris, have you ever me? been with a woman? Me. It's not the second Septimus day yet. Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I mean, he has been with a woman, because remember, she had flexibility, but he had reach. Yeah. Uh, you're pathetic. Okay, let's, when, general, it, when it goes back to him, I'm going to see what I see in troops. his face. A the fork. troops can kiss my leathery <laughs> backside. <laughs> All I wanted was to retire and be with her. He just said he had his own leathery kid, ass. I appreciate what leathery you're backside. To do, but you use don't that? waste your time. Kiss my leathery backside. <laughs> uh, oh goodness, we don't have enough for either of these. Aww. I guess we can either forget this or I'm not leaving. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Fork Those face. Days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, <laughs> lonely, worn out soldier. You make me sick. And then we can actually vomit on him when You're we You're a damn general. Yeah. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, No, kid. we don't. <laughs> there are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's <laughs> You should name easy. them. My mother. Straighten <laughs> up and act like a general. It damn well couldn't hurt. 
Shut up, Garrus. No one asked you. <laughs> Maybe you're right, I did. Commander. I love Garrus so much. <laughs> Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. Me either one. Any one of those options. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. <laughs> I'll go to her after I've had a cold shower. Don't have too Say, you're showers. a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Why do you keep talking to me like I'm 12? I know, we're like a seasoned military I'm up uh, to be commander. a specter. I'm yeah. a higher, like, she's not yet a higher rank than him. But Just about. No, because he's a general. She's yeah. like, um... Commander. Yeah, she can. Uh, but I would say sure. I mean, I need some money. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat me. out there. Believe Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why would you do that? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Mm -hmm. right. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. So he's he's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's the soldiers acting like soldiers. Getting he didn't drunk. actually drink it. He just held it up. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hey, we didn't ask. <laughs> I thought you could talk to that guy. <laughs> oh, that's it. Ew, shoot and him. And I'm gone. After walking on the table, apparently. Ooh, we can sit and watch no, that girl dance. No, that's okay. She kind of like wobbles weirdly in front of you. It's pretty sexy. We've we've done that. Yeah. We did that in like the second episode. Yeah. We're good. What the fuck? I did see something like fall up there. I don't know what it was though. That was weird. That was weird. What the fuck is that? Will it happen again? Oh, oh it it's just one of those. Okay. I thought it was like Garrus religion or something. I thought he's like, whoa. All right, so we're oh, we're going back to the um to the place with the things. Okay. Diplomats. Yeah. Okay. Embassies. Welcome to the Presidio. Shut up. No. Welcome no one even likes you, Avina. I like Avina. No. I do. No. You don't. I'm gonna be Avina when I grow up. When I'm do you practicing. Plan on doing that? Welcome to the Presidium. When do you plan on growing I'm up? I'm doing it right now. Don't you hear me? Welcome to the Presidium. Shut up. Allow me to be your guide. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Is it rectal dysfunction? Curious. Yep. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? Sure. It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. <coughs> Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. I really kind of curious what his secret is. I don't think you ever learned what it yeah. is. Yeah. Comment below on what you think his uh, secret is. He's not really an Elcor. <laughs> uh, you'll be fine. I wouldn't worry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just go. I, I wouldn't worry. No one Septimus actually is a powerful cares. man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Probably. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, no. I must go Please now. stay. We want to hear about your secret. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so long. Farewell, you. Thankful. 
Jesus. That was a great thing. Listen to him clomp away. That's what it sounds like when I walk from room to room. You see, Den, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. I already did. not wrong. Hey, he stomped away, but he's still here. He just only, like, took two steps. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Yeah, see? See? Din. Kaylin gets it. I noticed how, um, the last time we were playing, when mm -hmm. we were in the embassy, that guy's name is Kaylin, and then in Dragon Age, you have Kaylin. You have King Kaylin. Oh, yeah. They just really like that name. No. It's not like you can move anyway. You're not going to guide me anywhere. Tell me things. Yeah, she tells you things. She tells you things, but she doesn't guide you anywhere. She's your guide of, through information. Yeah. Through no. codexes. I like my silent codexes, thank you. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. The water that's, like, going straight up? or Yeah. Oh. Not, like, the fountain stuff, but, like, the way that it all curves up like uh, that. and like the sky kind of curves with it I'm the confused sky. that the sky looks like the earth sky I think but... it's a fake sky because it looks like a fake sky the way it's kind of yeah, like why does it look like earth bends in right there I don't know lots of planets have fucking clouds mm -hmm. I wonder if any of the other planets rain metal like what is it mercury no, I don't know yeah ever since this Oh, you got that one. Yep. Excuse me. <laughs> Very important person coming through. Close friend of the consort. Who waits for no man or woman. Our girl is gone. She is. Oh, oh I, I hear her. She must have been talking with one of the other. Oh, sorry. Commander. I recently received a oh, lovely note from Septimus. Struck by Thank how pretty her skin tone is. I know. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn if his campaign. My skin had to be blue. Me. I'd go in this direction. Let's talk payment. Yeah. Be no problem. Glad to help. Or uh, let's talk payment. We do glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. Good. I, I also have one more thing to give you. If you are interested. Of course. Very. I would say very, yeah. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Um, this is a shitty payment. I see you. It's kind of hoping for something a little bit more sexy, so but... Born wearing this it. is nice, too. You are a soldier through and through. Proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. Yeah, um, anyone that strength could have is what kept you alive when everyone around you Shepherd was dying. You so it wasn't really our survived. armor that did that. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. I would either say thank you or you're very astute, but it's, it's tempting to be like, um, that's it. You have quite a gift, Shaira. No. She's just thank able you. to look at somebody and be not like, hey, you're a good soldier. You do. Yeah. Never I could see because you're wearing the power armor. Of words. Here, Commander. And I know your In reputation. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. A trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. Oh, I sense it is time. And now time. I must ask you to it's leave. code for I don't want I this anymore. Yeah. I can for you. Maybe it's a little, like, bullet vibrator, you know? Remember my words, Commander Shepard. No. Probably. They will give you strength. What were you, what did you say again? Mm -hmm. Sorry about it. Bye. Bye. Uh, do we have anything else that we're doing? Yeah, you can check the journal, but that might be it about around here. I think we just need to go back to the council. Yeah. Get our specter on. Tip tap, tip tap. Tip tip tap. Little shepherd's footsteps. I got that one. I tried to get him if I saw him, but I was just doing a lot of quick traveling and speeding around because I was like, gotta catch him! Gotta catch him! Oh, to... oh, wait, wait. 
Yeah, yeah. she's very purple. She's very purple. And her outfit's very blue. Mm, nope, those aren't the people that are artful, but I do need to go this way. I like how they have a statue of a Mass Effect inside their Mass Effect. You mean a relay? Or, yeah, a relay. A Mass Relay? Inside their Mass Relay? Mm. <laughs> Did he just, like, moan at you? No, he hmmed. Oh, okay. I thought he was like, mmm. No, he was like, hmm. I guess there's a difference. There is. Welcome to the Presidium. <coughs> Allow me to be your guide. I got that, Kiba. Elevator rides. What juicy gossip are we gonna learn this time? One boys, spill it. Guess we're gonna get a radio. Mm -hmm. There's no way the council can ignore us this time. Saren's days as a specter are done. Yeah. Don't congratulate yourself too much. All this time you were hunting for evidence. Saren was moving forward with his. Hey, well, we didn't have much choice, Rex. We didn't have much choice. I don't think he's saying it like. To be a dick. Nah. It's full of tail. I know. Why don't you have one, Garris? You just have a leathery butt. <laughs> leathery a backside. Bony, a bony, leathery backside. And look at that. Yeah. You could, like, kill yourself on those angles of those hips. And Shepard's gonna try. <laughs> You got the sleeping keeper. Don't be ridiculous. I love the sleeping keeper. <laughs> of course you got the sleeping keeper. Don't, Don't be ridiculous. ridiculous. Who that? Who that? I said Anderson. I'm gonna say first. Good idea. Soft. Never hurts to. Come on. Udin is presenting okay. the Quarian's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Whoa. Ambassador. Whoa, what is that echo? Saren will be stripped of his specter status. <laughs> I don't know why it's echoing. <laughs> to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Matriarch Venezia? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final remember, stage of their lives. <laughs> Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Hey, Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The what Reapers they were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Prothean. Then they vanished. Yes. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Trouble. Right here in River <laughs> City. The capital T in that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. I Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? That's Impossible. It has to be. Hmm? Where did the Reapers go? Oh, did it? Why yeah. did they vanish? Yeah. How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted me before. That's a good answer. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. What kind of proof do you the need? Do we need a giant Reaper to come attack the commander. city? Yeah. A convenient lie to cover Saren's Conveniently. purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. You're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. 
If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That doesn't matter. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. It's not like they carry a, like a Spectre badge a around. Like, she always just is like, well, I'm a Spectre, so, I mean... Citadel yeah. fleet could secure the entire region. Saren's just gonna be like, well, I'm, I'm a Spectre, any more though, of our so... Colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me. I can take Saren down. Send me. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Uh, quit holding us back. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Today. Commander Shepard, step forward. Do it. Aye, aye, sir. So dramatic. Everybody's leaning in. Oh, oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Do it, do it, do it. They're gonna do it. It is the decision of the council that you be granted yeah. all the powers and Probably. privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance. How they celebrate in a little <laughs> Spectre threesome train, right there on the procession. You will notice that individuals forged a lot of them the fire the same, of service like, and battle. Markings. Those whose actions yeah. elevate them above. It's because the when they're making out, their chins just kind of rub <laughs> together and it just smears from person Simple. to person. The embodiment of courage, determination, and self reliance. Mm. They are the right hand of the council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a it great burden. They are protectors <laughs> yeah. of galactic he peace. He goes a little overboard. Both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's be polite. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Guys, we're going to McDo McDonald's and demanding all of their fries! <laughs> I I I'm a specter. I'm going to expect every single french fry you have in this location. Oh god, that would be so many french fries. Yeah, Especially I'm going to have to Especially if it was like a galactic McDonald's, yeah. you, they'd have to hold so many french fries. I'm going to have to expect every single one of these, they so I'm going to need probably fill, look. like, three Normandies. Probably. We're going to have to buy some extra Normandies because we're a Spectre now and we need to inspect every single french fry. How about, uh, any leads? Any idea where to find him? Someone we will forward Cerberus. any Spectre relevant files to Ambassador Udina. Normandy too. This meeting yeah. of the Council is adjourned. We can save them all in Miranda's butt. It's big enough. <laughs> Damn, that was harsh. Yeah, Jesus. Well. <laughs> Congratulations. She's got Commander. the booty. You've got a lot <laughs> of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special Why equipment and training. Echoing? I don't you know. Should go down to the Sea Sec Academy and Did speak to the special to the requisitions of. Anderson, come with me. <laughs> Overhearing your help to see all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Figures. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Chef. Awesome, 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 awesome. Where am I going? Uh, squad. Squad. Squad goals? Yeah. Uh, now we can be mean to people. Exactly. We can do our Spectre training. Yeah, because Unity's pretty handy. Who's that one? Advanced unity. Master unity. Otherwise, I'd probably just say basic armor or, yeah. Oh, yeah, pistols. And then whatever. I guess we can put some more in charm. Gotta woo them.
All right. All right, but that should probably bring us about to the end of this episode. But thank you all again for joining us for another episode of Mass Effect. As always, I'm still the most in love with this game. It's a good it's game. It's so good. Um, good but, go, good go. Good go, good go. <laughs> If you do uh, enjoy it, of course, we would be more than happy to have you subscribe. We're working on our 100 go uh, subscriber goal in which we will most likely be having our very first live stream. But we shall see. But definitely subscribe so that we can uh, work towards that at least. Yeah. And if you like the video, go ahead and like the video. And until next time, bye. Bye. Bye.